Right. Really gonna need this coffee. I'm exhausted for days. I'm on vacation too. Speaking of shortages, exhausted for days. Oh, dude, we've all been there. I'm fucking getting hot and heavy with a chick, feeling up her breast. You're like, mm, I like where this is going. You start sliding your hand down her pants. Just go to fucking slip a finger in her vagina. Boom! Cock. Do you just work around it, or do you jerk it a little bit? Mm. Oh, you said shortage. That's not a shortage. That's an additive. That's a plethora. I mean, that's never happened to me before, though. There's things that aren't supposed to be here. <laughs> so, you start, so you start trying to plan your exit. So or do you mean the entrance? <laughs> you're thinking out loud to yourself while you're still. Like, so what do I do with it? Uh, hmm. I'm really in a pickle here because I have one in my hand. <laughs> it's a giant cucumber. I'm a pickle. What? Hey, were you making a? Were you making a salad? <laughs> Smells like a shit pickle. No, honey, why? Because <laughs> it's bumpy like a cucumber. <laughs> so what the hell does that have to do with shortage? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> never, never, never a shortage you of know, stories. I think you've opened up with uh, that joke Probably two or three times in the history. I keep changing it. <laughs> one, it was, you know what my biggest turn off about girls is? That yeah. was the first one. Yeah. They're all, I'm all wet and shit. You go put your hand down there. Boom, dick. That's what do you do? Wow, why are you wet? How'd you get wet? <laughs> never a shortage of interesting things that happen in our lives. That's never happened in my life, buddy. No. Unless you have an actual have story to share of a, with have, all of the people. Have you, I, have you ever been part of a forest fire on a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> you going to fill everyone? Oh, that was... That was it made, it made all right, out to be buckle so up. Weird. For, but, whoa, <laughs> the hell just happened you, put, you better sink that thing in. Buckle up for a doozy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so we're 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 in a particular mountainous region location. I'm not gonna drop names or nothing, just because you know, <laughs> uh, protecting privacy. Yeah, the poor fucking wildlife that you almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess anyway. <laughs> so, all right. So what started out as a clearing land venture. Uh, Adventure, yeah, okay. Turned into a, a fucking catastrophe. <laughs> no, <laughs> of the humanity. <laughs> well, you're going up this weekend. I'm sorry, I'll stop with the keep I'll a free day, Saturday or Sunday. You're going up. I am. Yeah, <laughs> I told him tag. I um. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'll keep the comments to myself to the end of the story. <laughs> it might be hard, but no, please. The harder, the better. <laughs> Let's get serious on this. <laughs> Got him. Anyway. I don't know what the fuck that shot was. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Um, so we're in this mountainous region location, and <laughs> we're clearing the land. A uh, good friend of mine, he wants to build a home. And I'm talking about the mountain where you go like halfway up, but all of a sudden, hmm. I've seen the start. I've seen this in movies before. Usually there's somebody in the woods gonna kill my ass now. I got no service. Like you lose all oh, a phone. It's like you what lose, do you got in your hand? Like you lose service halfway up. Right. Like there's nothing. You're gone. Done. Um so, <laughs> so we're clearing the land, cutting down trees, logging them, limiting them and all that stuff, getting them piled up. Now in the middle of the clearing, what we thought was far enough away, like you're talking 40, 50 feet between the trees <laughs> and this center. Okay, and it's all around. That pile is kind of close to the hedgerow. It's like this clearing is probably almost half a football field. I say it's easily. Like, it's like half the length of this room. No, <laughs> no. I mean, it's you probably like got to be six feet. It's got to be a good forty or fifty feet from the tree line. <laughs> you know, 
So we're just dumping the wood. He's dumping the wood. He's got the farm equipment. He's dumping the wood on it. And, uh, you know, me and another friend, we're sitting there still cutting a lemon. And he's going to, all right, I'm going to clean. Let's do a little clean up. We'll cook some lunch. I'm looking over and I hear the fire crackling like a little more than it was. Huh. <laughs> That's a little crispier sound than it should be. Yeah, well, whatever. I got food coming. So <laughs> there was other people there. <laughs> I like how firefighter just completely like oh, ah. food, food. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway. um, <laughs> there were other people there. Uh, uh, they got it. So there's a collective group in this one central area, and out of nowhere, one of the other gentlemen that were there, ah oh, shit, there's a fire, <laughs> runs. I'm like, the fuck? I see the one friend of mine that's still there. He books it. Ah, shit. I look over. It's just fucking climbing <laughs> up this hill. You just see nothing but a forest bed of leaves. <laughs> I'm talking trees, nature. <laughs> what was left. <laughs> <laughs> what was going to be left eventually. <laughs> and it's like, fuck. Well... <laughs> Oh, God, this is fun. Oh, I guess this is the full stuff for everything. I, we grabbed rakes and started running at it. <laughs> Just try to throw the rake at it. <laughs> well, no. The fire we, ate it. The point was to take the rake and cut off, like, rake back the leaves, cut off the fuel source. Right. So we're going up. And it's, oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's just climbing. It's going fast. And I'm like, we're going, like, we're probably a good almost half the mile up the hill. This is the one the side of the mountain at one point. It's pure white. There's no fucking visibility. I'm, the, you know, I didn't tell the other guys this there. I'm like, at one point, I'm sitting there like, I can't see shit. Pure fucking white. I could see the flames. But I'm like, I, I'm i actually a little nervous. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> like, I have no direction. What way is what? Which way I came? I walked out I know <laughs> gravity tells me that's the way to go where the fire is. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> so we probably fought it for a solid hour. We're trying to cut it off, and it got to the top. Like, dude, we're way up in the fucking... We're middle. failing miserably. <laughs> no, we, we, we steered it. <laughs> Toward the end. We, <laughs> we didn't let it expand. It's like a marathon race. You know, you got a 500 runner. It's like the ball, the boiler maker or whatever right, they're called. Right, right. And they, they channel them down this one well, fucking road. bottlenecked road. it? Yes. That's what we did. We couldn't stop it, but we kept it from going everywhere else. <laughs> so after about an hour straight, we all could barely stand. None of us could fucking breathe. We can't see. We get to the top of one of the lips, one of the overlays, uh, one of the ridge lines, and I'm like, ah, fuck. Hey, so and so, no answer. Hey, so and so, no answer. Mother, if I said it out loud, I'm like, motherfucker. They all went down. I'm the only fucking. Person. You're the only fucking idiot. That's up there. <laughs> I'm throwing dirt at like walls of fire. Like, go away. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let me try one more time. So and so, yeah, it's into the tree line. It's too thick. I can't get up there any further. I can't go. I think they're calling us. All right, let's go down. I like it's an hour later. At that point, I didn't realize just how far we'd gone. You know, fighting a fire, you lose track of time, you lose sense of reality almost. I didn't realize just how far up we had climbed trying to shut this shit down. I'm wearing Canada. Well, it continued. <laughs> and, and I was like, ah, too much. Uh, in total, according to I'm the news to Walmart. report, it made the news. <laughs> it made the news. Of course it did. Some low-level amateur, probably jerks off in his mom's basement <laughs> journalist has this. Uh, that could be us. We could do that. Facebook live news broadcast. Whatever it As is. literally anybody with a phone. I don't know. I don't know. But apparently, well, apparently he's got a big following. Right. Because that's how everybody knew about this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. I actually heard people talking about it in the store one day. It's in BBC. Yesterday. <laughs> I heard people talking about it. Like, Today's Monday? Yeah. Yeah. I heard people talking about it in the store last night. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? Like, Okay. I'm just well, yeah, dude, half of a mountain just burnt down. <laughs> uh, according to this news reporter, <laughs> 20 acres. <laughs> Jeez. 
Uh, there was 13 fire companies. <laughs> I like how... 60 plus firefighters involved. I like how you wait an hour before it's like, oh, uh, maybe we should call 9 Well, I don't know. Apparently they had called, but it wasn't until, like, we were like, oh, it's, we can't stop this. <laughs> Calvary's here. Oh, good. Uh, I'm done. Well, the problem is you had to drive, like, 15 mi- 10 minutes, 15 minutes down the mountain just to oh. get signal back. Yeah. So, at this point... Wherever they're coming from, it's easily a 15, 20 minute run. So 15, 20 minutes down the mountain to get to cell service. The bucket brigade. 15, 20 minutes at minimum. This is 30 to most 40 minutes worth of time before they're finally getting there. Mind you, you are we are the we are firefighters on the same volunteer co. Okay, and we know how much hose, how much line we have. Well, they didn't have enough. Y- yeah, well, that's th- you're supposed to have a goat, a goat, or, or um, just Indian four wheelers, or yeah, anything like that. Mm. You're definitely <laughs> one of the fire trucks that showed up. Uh. I was like, I, think I saw that dragging somebody once 20, 40 years ago. <laughs> that's a very old school southern looking fire truck, really. Yeah, uh. I'm like. Huh, bells and whistles still going. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Pretty sure there was a bell on it. Wow. Well, there's well, there's a bell on. I think our engine has a mm. bell. It's not in commission, but yeah. But so, <laughs> according to the pictures, yeah. Because I'll show you. <laughs> Just the fact, though, that he <laughs> that I tell you what, that story earlier made my day. I heard that. I'm so happy about your misery. <laughs> Here you go. Your misery? Your wildlife that your home just burnt up 20 acres. Of there you go. Oh, yeah, this is the truck right there. <laughs> like I'm telling you. So there's your pictures. <laughs> well, see what I did? <laughs> Well, did it burn his house down? The house that hadn't been built yet? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's kind of like, you know what? I, I'm going to blame. I'm going to blame your buddy there. It's like when the Amish accidentally set fires in their fields. Yeah. <laughs> or, and were you there? No, you weren't there. They're uh, one of the sawmills. No, I was had. there for that one. Mm-hmm. We parked on some, like, person's property. Were you up there? Yeah. I can't remember. I know I, I left work for it. It was hotter than hell, too. It was just hot that day. Yeah, because that was the day when it, like there was rainstorms constantly forming, kept splitting the valley, mm-hmm. going like south or north. All Anyway, I remember being up there, and they said, uh, oh, we were just burning some small, like a small pile of scrap wood, conveniently right next to three massive mounds of scrap wood, and... You know, they couldn't really get rid of it, so they got rid of it. <laughs> well, no, so what happened was um, <clears throat> the wind was off and on. And no, literally, the- as we were stopping to get lunch going, oh, that I the wind was that. dying down. <laughs> so at first, we what? didn't hear or see or think of it. What kills me is that we're in the middle of a drought. Like, it's a literal drought. And just like like earlier when he told me, it's like, oh, that wood's a little more crackly than normal. That's, that's because it's a little fucking, fucking drier dry. than normal. <laughs> <laughs> so, no shit. Oh, so, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? The only... Th- so, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day... Jump scenes in an exit. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, basically, he got a slap on the wrist. Yeah, what do you get, like a fine? No, nah, it's just um. basically literally a, don't do it again. And, <laughs> He's lucky then. Oh, very lucky, but, you know. His EPA it's, came it's, down or something like that. It's like, not the first time, though. It's not the first time he's done that? No, it's not the first oh. time it's happened on the mountain. <laughs> on oh, that mountain. Oh, well, yeah, all right. <laughs> so it's like, he's like, he was he was a little concerned about it, and then afterwards, everything, after everything was said and done, it was like, oh, 
you know, we go through all the special training with the fire codes for like wildland, grass fires, brush fires, tree fires, or wood forest fires. And then it's like, huh, that's a normal thing. What the fuck? Sadly, yeah. <laughs> well, because they're trying. So the biggest, the biggest issue was they're trying to classify it as a forest fire, because unfortunately there was quite a few deadwoods that turned into chimneys. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. Those are cool to see, especially when you can't see where you're walking out of, and you put your hand on one. Oh, it's fucking. Oh, it's still burning inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're watching it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. Time to get the fuck out. So you get mesmerized, like. <laughs> uh, everything's burning around you <laughs> no check this and out and the though. walls keep burning down <laughs> yeah so but yeah that was a good story it was a uh, that was one I heard earlier and um, I figured he should share it with the rest of you yeah <laughs> yeah because I ended up calling I, obviously you know enough smoke inhalation like one of the uh, symptoms Oh, that sucks. Heartburn. I've done it a couple times, and it oh. fucking sucks. Dude, uh, up until a few hours ago, I still couldn't burp without a burning sensation. Yeah, it sucks. And everyone's like, take Pepto, take antacids. Hey, fuckheads, it you... doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid me. <laughs> oh, just fucking breathe in Pepto. That'll all take care of the heartburn uh, indigestion. Yeah, just boil it. Breathe it in. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Maybe you should take Definitely won't burn. antacids. Maybe you should put my balls in your mouth. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here's an idea for you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, oh, Dave. He shouldn't do that. You shouldn't say that. Well, here's an idea for you. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I forgot what context he was saying, but it's still hilarious. I, um... Anyway, earlier we were talking about you were talking about the diesel shortage. Oh, we yeah. We got to talk about that before we went on air. Actually, yeah. technically we were on air, but that's going to get cut because there's just mm. nothing filmed. We we're out in the other room. <laughs> um, we were talking about the diesel shortage. You said there, all oh, your every yeah. Well, in my community, uh, in my industry, right. I hate to say it, like well, actually, I don't hate to say it. I don't know. Eventually, I don't think there's going to be much of an industry for it. So it's great that I finally got on the bandwagon for a good job that pays good money. Oh, gotcha, bunker. <laughs> I quit. That's cute. Thanks. I quit trying to fucking get ahead in life. <laughs> I can't get ahead. I can't get ahead. <laughs> I know. I have to give myself head to get ahead. Yeah. And then I'm still disappointed. <laughs> I still cry. <laughs> I'm giving better blowjobs to bigger dicks in the back <laughs> streets Waffle House. What? Exactly. So, you asked why the U.S. has a diesel shortage. So No, I no, no. My, I didn't ask why. <clears throat> I know why. My biggest thing is everyone's talking about it like it's going to shut down transportation. Like, there's no way the world's going to be, America's going to be able to continue to move. Well, because in 20 days, we're out of diesel. I don't understand where they're getting that concept from. I end, Go ahead, for, just to make sure we're on the same. I'll tell you why I think we're going through a diesel shortage. And then you can correct me if I'm wrong. All right. <laughs> so... I believe, from what I've read, we're in a diesel shortage right now because all the cutbacks, all the production shortages are uh, decreasing, decreasing production rates all over. We haven't been able to get as much in to refine as we would like to. Right. We have our own stock to refine. Right. I think we, uh, <clears throat> as far as diesel goes, I think the United States... Now, I could be wrong on this, but I just heard this like a day or two ago. The United States' reserve is only like six days, something like that, itself. <clears throat> like that we produce. Yeah. Something to that effect. So, I don't know. Um, it is production, but uh, let's see. With only nine days until the United States midterm elections, prices are probably going to rise until anything changes. High fuel costs, particularly that of diesel and gasoline, are affecting the American economy, fueling voter resentment against the Biden administration. As winter approaches, the situation is going to get worse as the fuel is also used to heat homes. Mm -hmm. Not only the U.S., but Europe, too, is struggling to make enough diesel. The... Uh, 
uh, the continent's diesel market has come under stress ever since the Russia invasion of Ukraine and through an Which, I had to cut you off. I don't I don't agree with that. What? I don't feel like the world's problem with diesel is based solely on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, for Europe it definitely is because Russia <clears throat> is supply was supplying or still is supplying uh, a large percentage of European oil to Europe. So, and then with that whole uh, pipeline that was sabotaged, that was a major hit on the German economy and just, you know, Eastern Russia. So with that, <clears throat> that limits oil in the UK. Now, as far as the United States, we also were getting our, a lot of our oil from, we were importing it from Russia, but we were also importing it from Saudi Arabia, and we covered that last week. The yeah, Saudis OPEX, are pulling out, and they're just like, mm, nah, we're not going to. So that, OPEX, that effect, was... both of those affect us. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Ukraine, and through into jeopardy, Europe's biggest source of external supply. The 27-nation EU will ban Russian gas line from February 2023. In uh, the U.S., Distilled inventories, which include diesel and heating oil, are at their lowest point since at least 1993. News agency Bloomberg quoting Wood uh, McKenzie uh, Limited, a consultant said the price of diesel is likely to keep rising relative to gasoline through the year end, which we kind of, I mean, we called that last spring, early yep. summer. Um, the recent supply shortage has been made worse by a wave of refinery strikes in France and other unforeseen outages in Europe. And the U.S., similar to heating oil, which is often in higher demand during the winter, diesel used in road transport is also high in demand. One thing I read in another article was usually there's a drop in diesel or there's a diesel shortage like every year in the spring because that's when agriculture, that's when uh, uh Farmers are planting and you know, sowing their crops. Mm -hmm. And also in the fall when um, they're harvesting crops and then the people are also gearing up for the wintertime. But I guess because of everything that's been happening through the summer, there wasn't that uh, increase period. So when you have a high demand, so your diesel uh, uh, supply drops in the spring and then the summertime it goes back up and then it drops again in the fall, but you have that you know, that uh, replenish periods, so to speak. But now there wasn't, they didn't have that because of all the bullshit that they're dealing with, with the Ukraine war, with these, the sabotage happened a few weeks ago and all this kind of bullshit. So now it's just like there was a dip, there was a dead period and another dip. So now we find ourselves in the situation we're in now. That's kind of what I get out of that. Or mm -hmm. at least if you look at it on paper, it's like, well, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, the nation's top shale field, no, that's not what I want, the biggest oil, American oil companies on Friday highlighted these trends. The warnings were issued and U.S. oil shipments reached record lows, or record levels last week, which helped to drive up the WT1 prices by 3.4%. So I didn't know anything about the refinery. Um, um, oh, the... Uh, strikes over in france that i just read and i was like oh so there's even more contributing to it as well so oh, Jesus. so yeah it's not just it's not just the russian or the you know the whole russia and or, uh, ukraine war but there's a whole bunch of reasons because we've had wars like over in the middle east and everything i mean look at like in the early 2000s operation enduring freedom yeah Endur uh, endurance we had all that enduring too. freedom we were going but, over there to instill democracy. Yeah, that's what they say with every war we get into. Democracy is like, yeah, but do they want it? <laughs> it's like, do you? But it's just this this perfect storm of all these different things happening all at once, yeah. which seems to be the trend for a lot of the, a lot of things nowadays. Yep. Um, and then people ask us why we put on tinfoil hats, and what? then they. Laugh I'm going at us. to make one of those one day. And then they laugh at us when they see us wearing the tinfoil hats. See, here it is. And uh, then they arrest us and censor us when we're right. Distilled demand generally spikes in spring when farmers are planting crops and in fall when they're harvesting those crops and people start buying fuel oil for winter. Thus, a low distillate inventory in late April 2008 um, isn't quite as serious as a low 
inventory in October 2022. Uh, the inventory haven't been this low since October, since the EIA began reporting data in 1982. Diesel prices are above $5 a gallon nationwide. The average price of gasoline has dropped to below $4 a gallon, but that probably is going to go up in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Actually, I know for a fact it is because I don't know if you've got it, but I know we got it here, a uh, thing from National Grid that says prices are going to get jacked in the wintertime. Like, it's going to go, I mean, it was already just for heating and stuff. It was like $380 or something a month, which is basically the same price as before I got the brand new heating system when we had the old converted oh, oil yeah. furnace. So I get the brand new, like, high economy, like, high efficiency system put in to save money it went down and then, and then thank you fucking war <laughs> it just goes right back up to basically the price it was before i'm like no nah, that's nice you know the fuck <laughs> speaking of five dollars a gallon you hear about that <clears throat> shit uh you know biden's comparing you know the fuel prices now as to when they what they were when he walked into office yeah i actually that's that was one of the next things I had. I know. So this Biden's gas price claim was well, this five dollars. Well, it was five dollars, and it's dropped down to three eighty a gallon now. And he says that it's lower now than when he took office. And and or uh, when he took office, he said it was over five dollars. I'm like, do you remember? <laughs> how do you well, hold on? He's not wrong. How much is gal? How much is a gallon of gas over in California right now? Like five eighty something or eight nine dollars. Is it, is it still it, that oh, high? I thought it was like I, I I figured it dropped, but I mean obviously it's higher than here. Hold on. But I thought it was like maybe even six or something like that. I don't know. But um, is it six something or whatever? Because what is three eighty here or roughly three eighty nine? Six or seven dollars like a gallon. Is it? Regular five five mid grade five eight breaks six dollars a gallon if you go for the premium. Right. Well, so what's gas right now? Here? In our in I here. think it's like three eighty nine a gallon. How much was gas when Trump left office? Here. Two seventy two eighty. Two eighty, two ninety, something like that. Okay. So it went up a dollar. Gas is six dollars a gallon in California. Right. So it's gone up about a dollar, let's say, in retrospect, in in ratio talk, I guess you can call it. Right. It's gone up a dollar. So what was gas per gallon in California when Biden came into office? <laughs> Five bucks a gallon. You see what he does? <laughs> I can think like a Democrat because I'm mentally retarded. Oh, fuck. And we just got canceled. <laughs> Good having a good show, guys. See you on the next episode of fuck off i'll have to make a new channel <laughs> yeah or edit that out yeah. mm -mm. i'll leave it no because we will get struck i like to push boundaries on youtube <laughs> i don't know I like that push it tiktok in there. is the strict one because i put something up when i mentioned this oh they're the gay lame, lame version of us did that really yeah i took t tiktok took the audio off <laughs> i was like that's the only thing on that whole segment unless they censored mushroom tape. oh well, did you see what Xbox is under fire for, too? Speaking uh, of that shit. Geez, no. Xbox. I think I sent you the tag. The video on TikTok. I don't know. You, I, like a whole bunch. Yesterday, I got bombarded by videos from like three different people. Hold on. Let me like, see You sent me it. five. My buddy Jeff from uh, my, old, uh, my, my old job, he sent me like seven. I'm like, geez Louise. <gasps> the problem is like half of them aren't available after uh, whatever. What the? Oh. <laughs> Sledgehammer. Yeah. Do, do, why don't you come on? <laughs> did you hear about that? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, that's another fucking... I did send this to you. Watch. Watch this. I did see... Okay, yeah, I do That's remember. legit. Yeah. Xbox is under flack for it. And if you put... Yeah. Uh, WLM. Yeah. It's it, considered it, hate speech. Yeah, that's fuckery right there. 
I, ALM, they all somebody. All right, so video where they do <clears throat> ALM too. If you, I, as a gamer tag or a clan tag or something. As like a that. gamer or custom clan tag on Microsoft Xbox Live, you can go on and put your clan tag as BLM, indicative for well, in reference to Black Lives Matter. Microsoft Xbox. Uh, what's the what term? What's the uh, police? We'll call it yeah, security. Big Brother. Microsoft Xbox Big Brother says that's acceptable. But if you put WLM in reference to White Lives Matter or ALM in reference to All Lives Matter, it will literally say, it will kick up a notification saying you cannot put this up there due to uh, it is hate, it is considered hate speech by uh, company or standard community guidelines. Which is fine. That's fair, right? Yeah. Is it fair? It's fair? <laughs> it's fair that I drink my own urine? <laughs> yeah. Which is why I don't do it. Because it wasn't that sterile and I didn't like the taste. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I did see that, though. I did see that. I was like, oh, that's... Fu but that's see, that it, the problem with fucking TikTok and all this shit is I get so much shit between you and Dan and Jeff and, like, getting stuff sent to me. It gets lost in the shuffle. I'm like, this is fucking, like, overload sometimes. Like, geez. Because I'm, look I'm looking at news articles I get on my phone. News articles I hear from, like, Tim Pool or Ben Shapiro or Joe Rogan mm -hmm. or, or, or um, um, Russell Brand. And then I get the shit you send me or all you know all you guys and i'm looking i was like there's like fucking literally like 80 to 100 different fucking news articles and shit i have to look up i'm like and i can't remember half of the shit <laughs> well you don't have to check out all my videos but, well I, I, half I, of them i send you so that i don't lose them so i can go back and reference them all right later. yeah good yeah do that i use you as like, i oh, should use you as like all right what's going on in tiktok this week and then i'll just pay attention to the regular articles <laughs> trying to fucking keep up with all this shit is just fucking impossible yeah. don't fucking do a podcast about current events because you'll fucking drive yourself nuts <laughs> i would take my hat off my i gray, love doing this my shit, gray hair is getting bad i <laughs> i love this shit but, but when I, you're in a forest fire that burns down 20 years <laughs> <laughs> i mean you're bound to have gray hair actually in all actuality according to the gentleman that i was helping out uh the fire codes explained to him it was more like 16 acres <laughs> And the other four were just kind of charred. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like a light charring. Well, I can tell you this much. In the spring, all that force is going to grow back a hell of a lot fucking better. A, a browning. or We did the fucking a, We did the mountain a favor. A candy glazing, if you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now it's going to grow like crazy in that one spot. It's, like, it's fucking... I can't see through it. <laughs> Couldn't see through it from before. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, no, uh, whatever. Oh, Biden's gas. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Uh, speaking of uh, Biden's gas and shit getting heavy, somebody really put the hammer down on Pelosi's wife, huh? Husband. Oh my God. Yeah. Let me. Uh. Dude, what happened? Because from what I heard, the, from the one TikTok video I saw at two something this morning, a well-being check was called was put out. I... They get to the scene. Mister Pelosi and this guy are standing there. And then I don't know where the dude just gets a hammer and starts hitting him. And it put, the dude's getting hit with like 27 I, felonies. I, I, Paul Pelosi. Um, I have no interest in learning their fucking names. Cunt and Cunthead. <laughs> the, one of them's called Cunt, the other one's called Head. I'll let you figure out who's who. Cunt Head. <laughs> um, people. I'm looking for the actual thing because there's a whole bunch of stuff on what's whatever. I'll just look in. This is Politico. I'll look on uh, the details about the Paul Pelosi attack. Um, suspect charged in the attack of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband early Friday allegedly woke 82 year old Paul Pelosi from his bed. <laughs> I'll say. He also owned a sword, compared himself to the founding fathers, and told police he wanted to lure another person, all according to the federal charging document released Monday, along with a statement from San Francisco's district attorney. The Justice Department charged 42-year-old De, uh, DePape with an assault and attempted kidnapping of the speaker following the alleged break-in at the Pelosi home in California. He was a follower of the political cons conspiracy theories, including the false claim of the 2020 election was stolen. <laughs> San Francisco District Attorney Brooke, Brooke Jenks 
Uh, Jenkins announced five separate felony charges against uh, DePay later Monday, suggested the attack was politically motivated. You fucking think so? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I One TikTok video I had seen, they were going to nail him with like 27 different felony charges in total. Like he was getting nailed to the wall. Mm. I show up to this guy's house to bash his head in with a hammer. I go to jail for <clears throat> assault with a deadly weapon and attempted murder. That's it. Right. And let's say he lives. Okay. Aggravated assault. I spend a year, one to three max in a medium security prison and three hots in a cot, free health care. All right. This guy's going away for fucking life. Um... Oh, because he was trying to put that final nail in the guy's coffin Jeez, with a hammer. So, jeez. Uh, what do you? Uh, murder. Regardless, uh, residential burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, false imprisonment of the elder, and threat uh, threats to a public official and their family. The alleged attacker specifically targeted the Pelosi home to confront Speaker Pelosi. Jenks said, "Here are five. Oh, this is just a list of five new details they've come up with." Hmm. We made these up. Regardless of which, I want to say, it is very unfortunate this happened. I do not wish bodily harm on anybody. No, you don't want harm on anyone. I mean, Pelosi's a fuck. Uh, well, Nancy Pelosi's a fuck, but you don't want... I mean, the, po the poor guy. I mean, doesn't he... He's dealt with fucking blows to the head enough being married to this broad, and now you're going to uh -huh. do this shit to him? Like, <laughs> why do you think he was drinking so much? He goes home and beats his own self in the head with a hammer. Seriously, that's probably why he was sleeping. <laughs> No, but seriously, it's very it's very tragic, very sad that happened. I really hope for his health and safety. Honestly, I do. But my biggest thing is you or me, some random John Doe off the street, it's not even going to make news. No, it, it... Well, no, it won't because you're not going to get... All right, just going over the news aspect of it, you're not going to get that kind of emotional response from everybody. It's like, who attacked who? Yeah, but they're not going to sit matter? there. Let's say you were 65 years old and I was 55 years old and I did it to you. 49 years old, I did it to you. Do you think they're going to nail him with all those extra charges and stuff? No. 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 Okay. This guy's getting the fucking book because of who they are. Uh, how did we get off on that tangent? That was way far. I was on Biden and we got into fucking Pelosi, whatever. It's the same administration. Back but. to the gas prices. Uh, I was past that. I was going to say the federal monthly debt jumps 500% oh, as Biden's yeah. student relief costs hit. Hmm. Student debt relief. You see, I fucking, I hope this isn't true, but I heard that they're sending checks out to all these students. Like, to pay they, their debt with? That's checks. Nice. How many fucking debts are going to get paid off? Who's going to get a $10,000 fucking check and be like, I'm going to send, I thought they were going to like, all right, well, here's your debt and we're just going to, erase the debt you have will just you'll be exonerated that's it no more debt i thought that's what the, that's that's what it sounded sending like they were gonna do but they're sending checks out like all right you're 23 years old all right you just went through four years nope. of college <laughs> let me my, stop you there my fucking let point exactly you there. my there's point a lot of I, I just graduated college. Where's the weed at? <laughs> I don't even have a job yet. There's a lot of cocaine and hookers that need my attention. <laughs> I am going to do both at the same time. I am going to put cocaine on my penis, put it in the hicker, hooker, hicker, whatever you want to call it, stick my nose down her mouth, and while I fuck her, I'm going to try to snort the cocaine through her body. <laughs> That's why I only sleep with trans people. <laughs> so when I'm doing from behind, I reach around and grab it, it feels like I poke it all the way through. <laughs> Yeah. You better believe all that out. I can't feel it. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, this one is a girl. <laughs> this logic is sound somehow. <laughs> you gotta believe all this out. You know that, right? Uh, think Fuck about it. it. <laughs> send it. I'll think about Fuck it. Fucking send it. That definitely will not end up on TikTok because that'll <laughs> just get another fucking strike on me. <laughs> I'll start posting the videos. Your channel gets banned. I'll start posting them. You're going to have to. <laughs> Ban me, fuckers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, but 
Um, fucking, yeah, no. No, dude, no. That's the stupidest thing you could fucking do. Yeah. Oh, I, I trust these guys. This is a responsible thing. Uh, yeah, so I heard they that. They eat Tide Pods, you fuck. <sighs> hey. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. and the, But then also it said uh, the Biden debt relief plan is tempor- temporarily blocked. I guess federal appeals court has temporarily blocked President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, halting any debt from being erased. But the administration is encouraging people to continue submitting their applications. Uh, Friday evening ruling comes less than a week since the application portal went live. Already nearly 22 million people, more than half the qualifying bar- borrowers have signed up. A fucking course. Because it doesn't hurt to try. No. And don't get me wrong. I would have done the same thing. I was, like, if I had Unfortunately, that, I'm one of the schmucks that fucking worked and paid the bullshit off. So am I. But, but I, yeah. I still would have tried. Yeah. Even after I paid it off. I need it. 10000 I mean, you never know. <laughs> Possibly just uh, a little check. The administration could have begun processing applications and uh, changing loan balances beginning Sunday. The order, uh, quote, the order does not reverse the trial court's dismissal of the case or suggest that the case has merit, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said in a statement Friday evening. It merely prevents debt from being discharged until the court makes a decision. The block was issued by U.S. Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is considering a motion of six Republican-led states to stop the program. It's one of several lawsuits that have aimed the challenge, um, aimed to challenge the program. Uh, it would hurt companies manage well of course it's gonna fucking hurt the loan companies <laughs> see this is one where i'm kind of like the fucking the way they're doing it's stupid but at the same time you have like the these republican states being like well you shouldn't do it because it's gonna hurt the loan companies now coming from someone who like i said before paid off my bullshit the loan companies are fucking like they're loan sharks <laughs> they're fucking evil as shit mm-hmm so and this is one where i can't take either side like well uh, you fucking created this cancer so you two you both you sides got to fucking figure it out (laughs) but um yeah that's all i gotta say about that continuing on with biden though and his condemning of the boston's gain of function research what's that exactly that was that new coronavirus we briefly talked about before. Mm-hmm. And Biden actually is like, like I said, condemning. It's like, you know, why the fuck are you guys doing this? Uh, from the Daily Mail, it says, this is playing with fire. It could spark a lab-generated pandemic. Kind of like what may or may that have already happened <laughs> a couple of years ago. Experts slam Boston Lab, where scientists have created a new deadly Omicron strain with an 80% kill rate on mice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what could fucking possibly go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> the only thing I can say is that, well, at least it's in America. So now, I mean, worst case scenario, Trump can't call it the Chinese virus. <laughs> yeah. The China. 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 Boston University scientists were uh, were today condemned for playing with fire after it emerged that they had created a lethal new COVID strain in a laboratory. Uh, the team had made a hybrid virus combining Omicron and the original Wuhan strain that killed 80% of the mice in a study. Researchers were attempting to discover whether the spike protein in the Omicron variant responsible for making it the most transmissible of the COVID strains to date is also... Uh, behind the virus having a particularly mild effect in infected hosts with most suffering only slight illnesses. And as a result, they killed off all their mice. <laughs> Maybe it's not as bad. Oh, shit, it killed everything. Uh, <laughs> you ever seen Morbius? <laughs> no, but that movie was canceled. I, there was a few reasons given, but I think specifically it was canceled because it was supposed to come out. It is out. It, it was supposed to come out in spring of 2020 as the coronavirus came out a bat virus Uh. back then and then morbius is here that movie was not going to do well so it suddenly just quietly went on the back burner 
I because I, I was they were promoting it back during Super Bowl. I remember that, that. And I was like, oh yeah, Morbius. I guess I'll give it a shot. And it then, looked interesting. And then coronavirus came through, and then you're looking at the trailer for Morbius, and he's like getting eaten by bats in his hand and shit. It's like I'm dying, and and then coronavirus. So you go, oh, it came from a bat in a wet market. I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it just got delayed two years for. Well, just reason. like collateral damage. Remember that movie <clears throat> with Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. What was that I called? So. There was a movie. There, I think it was called Collateral Damage. Arnold Schwarzenegger played like a father or something like that that goes overseas, like undercover, because his uh, daughter and wife or something like that are killed in a terrorist attack. Right. It was supposed to come out like right about the same time 9-11 happened. Right. And they ended up... Put, hold on. Let me look the movie up. Give me a second. Arnold. Oh, oh, oh so this right. is uh, the... Oh, wait. I think I know what you're talking about. With the do the... 2002. Yeah, with the whole... Collateral uh, damage. Yep. It came out in 2002. It was supposed to come out... It came out, released. it was released February 8th of 2002. It was actually supposed to be released that fall, uh, September, October of 2001. I can't remember specifically. I remember trailers for it coming. I'm almost positive it was actually in... There was a whole bunch of fucking things that were supposed to come out right before the uh, 9-11. Like, uh, right down to small things. What was it? Uh, there was a trailer for the Spider-Man movie that was coming out, or that just came out. Oh, and they the had the Twin, twin towers. towers. They had the spider web in between. They, the twin, they did it away with it. Take, there was another thing too. Uh, I, it was maybe it was uh, I don't know. It was Buster uh, Rhymes or some album cover for some rap artist. They had like uh, the, uh, the World Trade Center blowing up. Coolio? No, not Coolio. It was yeah, it was someone like that back then. But not Exhibit. It might have been Buster Rhymes actually. It might have yeah, and that it was blowing up and like everything got fucking. Everyone's like. Uh, uh. <laughs> which what well, Lewis Black had a skit right after that. I mean, it was like probably a few years after it. But he goes, "I don't care who you were. As soon as nine eleven happened, everybody collectively went, fuck that fucks up my plans.' <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. No, he's not. Well, that's. I mean, that's when everything really went downhill." <laughs> They did. They they that's the whole I remember them preaching about, you know, oh, why would they do this? Why would they do this? And there was that tape leaked about, you know, the comments he made, you know, I wanted to cripple America. I wanted to change America. Oh, oh Biden or uh bin Laden. Osama bin Laden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he succeeded. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> he succeeded. He succeeded. Yeah, he's doing better than bin Laden did. Go figure. Barack bin Laden. Actually, Barack bin Biden. Bi <laughs> I mean, say that three times fast. Bin Laden. Barack um, bin Biden. Really, bin Laden won in that aspect because look at us twenty years, twenty two, twenty one years later. Yeah, look at like every, the whole thing was just is still fear. And we fear eat Tide and pods. We argue amongst <laughs> ourselves, and if you're not willing to put your penis in something that has a penis, or if you don't have a vagina and insist it's and, and, and don't agree to rub holes with something else that has a vagina, you are considered trans and homophobic. Remember that? They're trying well, to push that. Yeah, I know. Now. Yeah, it's like, it's, like I well, have. Wait a minute. It's, oh, you God. have it. Okay. So there's, a, there's a video on TikTok where this person's giving an interview. And he, so by saying you won't date somebody with a penis, you are transphobic. It's, no, I just don't like men. But if it's... But that isn't a man. That is a woman. They have... Fight... Fight... Okay, so... It's a cartoon meme. drawn. It's a meme. Fight bigotry. Well, let, let me just show it. It says, fight bigotry. 98% of straight men are unwilling to date trans women because of hatred. This has to change. This has to change. It's like, you, it's like you're laughing, waiting for them to chuckle. Because you know they're going to laugh at it. Because it's fucking stupid. Well, no. So Just because I don't want to date a woman who used to be a guy or what, what the fuck ever. A trans person. That has nothing to do with I, hate. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I actually... I have a friend. There who, are women 
who specifically say, and we've talked about this, this is months ago we talked about this. There are women that specifically say, I don't want to date a guy that's shorter than X. I don't want to date a guy that's heavier than this. I don't want to date a guy that's skinnier than that. Yeah. I don't want to date a guy that's taller. I don't want to date a guy that's overly developed and muscular. I don't want to date a guy that rapes. Yeah, fucking picky. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, is wow, way to be choosy. Yeah. <laughs> well, geez, good luck finding those six people. <laughs> but, <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to be serious now. Let's be serious. Let's be serious. Um, I, um, it's okay to have all those expectations, but if you say i don't really want to date a woman who is actually a guy well that's hate I'm like okay so what's all the other bullshit like that that's that everything else is fine it's like oh no i don't want to date a guy that has brown eyes i don't want to date a guy that's blonde i don't want to oh yeah like, that's fine it's prejudice it's com- no it's completely fine you it's say, grade they can, a you can class say it. one it's fine fucking retarded stupid <laughs> oh my god it's okay it's trying to make a push to bring that word back <laughs> yeah that's fine but but there's uh, yeah the, the, so the video I'm talking about the video I thought you were going to show is no, there is literally a trans person because I have a gay friend who upon explaining a situation that was going on with people that I know who I'm involved with right you know they're women um, they are in a relationship long term the, they are having trouble during this relationship because apparently one of the two want to transition. Right. So this friend of mine Which goes... kind of throws a wrench in that. <laughs> so this friend of mine goes, so they're trans. I'm like, yeah, but they're still a woman. Well, no. They want to transition to be a man, which now makes them a trans person. I'm like, okay, so now, so now hold on. Hold on. Okay. It made a little more the way they said that it made sense. And now let me explain. When you are turning It's like the whole point of our existence now to just make everything as fucking complicated as possible. <laughs> when you are when you get a, a strip of leather, it's just called hide. Right. When you are cutting it up, it is in the transitioning process to becoming a belt. Right. The, well, now, this person, the way example they used was actually four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, which I was genuinely impressed. This person knew. Differential, transfer case, all that shit. Apparently, the word Fucking trans... Fucking bigot, just because... They- there. <laughs> and so they knew all about it. Transmission? Um, transmission. <laughs> transfer. Oh, my God. <laughs> They've been grooming us since we were born. Trans- I dropped my tranny. <laughs> I blew a tranny once. Can't say tranny, though. Most that's, expensive that's fucking like, uh, repair job I've ever had on a transmission. <laughs> um, so... In that in-between phase, they are what's considered a trans. So I asked this person, I'm like, let me ask you something then. Outside looking, on the outside, male to female, when they are a male, they are a male. When they are transitioning to become a female, or they, they, have, they suffer from gender identification dysphoria, right. they are considered a trans. But when they have the surgery, they are now a woman. Yes, I'm like, what about their genetics? Well, you can't look at that. I'm like, there's your problem, sorry. Yeah, you can't not look I at that. T- I told them I will never refer to them as what they wish to be identified then as because yeah, you can't, that's, that's not that's what like, they are. That's like taking your grades through a whole fucking year and like passing, 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 failing. It's like, well, don't look at that one. It's like, but it's fucking there. You can't yeah. look at this whole I, strand and be like, forget this I one. Said, never mind. I said I will... Look, if, you, if, if it's a dude and it wants to be called a ma'am, I'll call it a ma'am. If, the, if it's a woman that wants to be called a dude, I'll call it a dude. But at the end of the day, if, let's say, I'm on a EMS call, right? I have a 27-year-old male, male yeah. because of their genetics and what they have. Yeah, and you can't fucking, like, let's say there's something like prostate cancer or something, which is a male thing, like, primarily, you... you there are certain things where, as a doctor or EMT, even like just on a lower level, you need to know things like that. You can't just look at something and be like, well, it says they identify as, so never mind these actual health like risks and what have you. I'm pretty sure if I was a doctor and I walked up to what I thought was the wife, 
and said, yeah, and trying to nine months feed. pregnant, and I'm looking at a fat man, and it's, that's me. <sighs> I'm going to go back to the wife. Here are my say, scrubs. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my wife and say, uh, I quit. can you uh, push that down the stairs? See, that's why I quit being a doctor and I just became a ghostbuster. <laughs> I'm going to stop being a doctor and become a ghostbuster, too. It's much easier. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, yeah. folks. That is right. I almost forgot. Today yeah. is Halloween. No, well, but. Hollow's Eve. Anyway. All Hollow's Eve. Did you see the Pennsylvania uh, debate? Yeah. I heard some tidbits about it. I didn't With get to the watch Dr. It. Oz and, um, what's it, Fetterman, who had a, he had a stroke. Like, I think it was last stroke. April. Stroke. Stroke, stroke, stop mocking me. <laughs> Family guy, I love you. <laughs> it's not funny. It's fucking This hilarious. is serious. But I I listened to pretty much the whole thing because um, Tim Pool streamed it during their show. Mm. So I listened to it the next morning. I think it was last, that was Tuesday. It would have been last Wednesday morning. Um, It was a debacle. Like if I felt bad for Fetterman being up there because he clearly was not of sound mind to be able to have a debate with, especially with a doctor. I mean, granted, Oz didn't do great, but Fetterman had a stroke. And when he opens up a conversation with, like, hello, everybody, good night, kind of gives you an idea of where this is going to go. It's like time Mike Tyson fought an infant <laughs> It's like if Mike Tyson fought an infant. It really was. Punching your face like, when you're sleeping tonight. It, like, you watch it, and a tall tale sign is when a lot of people on the right, because Fetterman was left, and a lot of people on the right were looking at this debate and going, why is he up there? Like, I feel bad. for Like, this is fucking... And I get that the left is very much like, people with mental disabilities should be in office, too. That's admirable. But there are some positions that some people with mental disabilities should not be in, and if you are, if you are in that state, like even take a year or two off from politics, like go to therapy, get your speech patterns back up, your like cognitive ability, because he clearly was it was it was ugly, it was ugly. Oz did not even have to be on stage; it could have been just a Q and A session with Fetterman, and it would have been a fucking train wreck. Yeah, but haven't we been supporting uh, people with mental disabilities in political places since the 2020 election? Listen. Super <laughs> under pressure. Yeah, but that's just straight. I got hairy legs and the that's, kids like to rub them. That's just straight funny, though. Like, this is just sad. I like, grew up in an old black neighborhood. It literally was sad to watch. I grew up. Like you supported in, 20, in 2018, you uh, were against fracking, and then you've recently come out to say you were for fracking. Do you have like any kind of explanation? I'm paraphrasing, um, in that discrepancy of like, and then he's like, uh, he stutters through it. And, let's see if I can find it. He's like, I'm I'm for fracking. I have been uh, f- uh, for it. Uh, I'm for fracking. Some along those lines. Like, man, this is rough. This is this is rough. First video. <laughs> Somebody's laughing, yeah. and that's how I fucking felt. Like I, I laughed, but I'm like, this is ugly. Oh, let's see if I can find it. I'm actually genuinely curious. I want to see this now. Num 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 num. Gotta love TikTok, folks. You do. And you have to love modern technology. <laughs> I can't find it. All I keep hearing is that laugh over. I know. Let me see if I could find it. TikTok. You want maybe CD? There we go. Oh, okay. Fetterman Oz debate. Um, you found it, folks. As Lieutenant Governor, you're running for a seat that could decide the balance of power in Washington. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. 
people of Pennsylvania as a doctor. I listen to their ideas and I want to talk about them. When John Fetterman brings up houses, the irony is he didn't pay for his own house. He got it for a dollar from his sister. And he hasn't been able to earn a living on his own. He's lived off his parents. So it, it, it doesn't, it's not a topic that we should be debating on the stage. We should be talking about crime and inflation, the issues that are hurting Pennsylvanians that they're talking about at their kitchen table. Uh, 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 that, that's right. You know, he got his Pennsylvania right, house Mr. Fetterman. from his own in I do want to clarify something. You're saying tonight you that go. you support fracking, that you've always supported fracking, but there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? Oh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Okay, thank you, Mr. Federman. It was like an hour of just off the wall, like, it, this guy should not be up there. And, like, it's a serious mental thing. Like, he had a stroke. And I guess there was a... Um, they had a teleprompter behind the screen of the moderator for the debate. And it was basically everything that th was being said, they were bringing on the teleprompter. So he had... The, there was a delay, he had to read it. Because he couldn't, like, for, you know, whatever his stroke affected, he couldn't hear something and process it. He had to read it. Uh -huh. So there was that delay. But even so, it, like, I mean, you heard some of his answers. Like, it was just. <laughs> I mean. As lieutenant governor. That's, yeah. That's actually hard to listen to. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was like, man, he should not be up here right now. <laughs> there have been times when I listen <clears throat> to Biden speech speak. I'm hearing that guy speak. There have been there have been times when I'm hearing. Uh, See, Biden like Biden's gaffes. I mean, his speech is off the wall sometimes. Well, even all jokes aside, there are sometimes a lot of these older and elderly politicians that you hear these people in seats of office and power that you hear them talk and you're like, I almost feel bad for him at times. Like I want, I feel like I I should be the one to walk up. Hey, come on, Grandpa, let's go put you back in bed. Grandma's not around anymore. Grandma died 20 years ago. And then you got to break the news to him that his life sucks and he's shitting into a diaper getting sponge baths from fucking Hector, the gay male nurse, <laughs> who used to be a woman. You know, this poor guy's fucking life crashes every day. You have to remind him of that shit. <laughs> so come on. Come on, Uncle Joe. Let's get you off stage. Come on. Let's go. When he's lost on stage, that's, that's something too. Like Again, like his gas are just funny. His get when he's up on stage and like what was that one debate when he's like standing like this? Yeah. Like Nancy Pelosi. There have been times where it's like, sweetie, the grandkids aren't coming to see you. They died. You're the, like the oldest living member of the Pelosi family. You've outlived your great grandchildren. Let's go. Get back in the sponge bath. <laughs> Shit. Just make sure it's not a Mexican. Okay. That's something she. I, I shouldn't say that because I don't know. <laughs> Just. You know, <laughs> I'm just being facetious. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. I'm half bad. Going back to uh, Pelosi, you know, stroke. you're talking about Pelosi, and we were talking about um, his. He's had a cold chill stroke. <laughs> that was like, uh, um, Pelosi's husband getting beaten with a hammer. You see this uh, DeSantis volunteer, the GOP volunteer, was beaten in a Democratic Party in Florida. Someone was beaten. They uh, it was a volunteer went to a, a city in Florida. A democratic city, primarily a left-leaning city, and he ended up getting beaten by a group of, let's say, Democrats. Jesus. A Marco Rubio canvasser violently attacked in democratic neighborhood. Um, Hylea? <laughs> Zelda? <laughs> Hyrulean? Yeah. To, oh. I heard about it, but of course, even on TikTok, <coughs> good luck finding videos of it. Yeah. Uh, last night, one of the canvassers wearing my T-shirt, the Santa. Well, this is um, Marco Rubio saying this was brutally attacked by four animals <laughs> who told him. Before I go further, when it, either side refers to the other as animals and fucking something less than human, like that's a big fucking problem. That's not helping the situation between the two sides. 
No, like that's this, creating animosity. Yeah, and that, but that's just that. See? My opinion. Animosity, <laughs> because they called them animals. God. <laughs> Who told the Republicans they weren't allowed in their neighborhood? Uh, he suffered internal bleeding, a broken jaw, and will need facial reconstructive surgery. But those fucking Republicans are godless heathens, actually. So, wait. It's okay to segregate and discriminate based on political values as long as you're a left-leaning Democrat. We don't talk about that. You can tell people to go back where they came from. To get out of their town. They don't belong there. We don't talk about that. That Listen, just like we were talking about earlier, we don't... Th- never mind that. All right? Don't pay attention to that. Just look at the rest of this. Look at this over here. Ooh, shiny objects. Water. <laughs> I am thirsty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, never mind Never mind those other fact things. But they're not facts. You know what's been getting? It's funny that you bring that up. A lot. I've been seeing so many TikTok videos of it, and it's funny because I go to subscribe, I go to follow their channels, and then eventually I go to to look for them to show what people like their videos. Mm -hmm. Then their channels are gone. There are a lot. I've been seeing a, a, a very big uprising of black people. I've been seeing a bigger wave of black people who are reporting, doing like their self reporting. With their phones and stuff, doing like interviews and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, Trump, Biden, WLM, ALM, BLM, blah, 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 blah. And it's funny that these people are getting so much hate. You see them in the videos. And then their, their, their channels get canceled. You're, they're, they're canceling. It's gotten to the point. The point I'm making is it's gotten to the point now where the left or the Democrats, or whoever is in control of this, of social media, in essence, are starting to cancel the very people they're trying to plead to. The left has started, uh, yeah, atta- basically eating itself, which I think a lot of people said that that was eventually going to happen, is that the, the extreme left was going to, they keep going further and further left, and everything that was center became right, and now they're they just keep going further left and everything that was moderate left is now becoming right and they're just going to keep going and then eventually you're going to get where if they keep if we keep going down this road p pe- yeah pedos the left is going to become right eventually pe- yeah really and the, they'll they'll be the what they claim is like the racist and everything else and judging by this last attack it's like you don't belong here boy get back it's like so they went back to fucking 1820 like, no, get back 1940s. In, yeah, like get back in your own side of the tracks. Like, why do? Where do you even fucking get the southern accent from? You're you you're in fucking Florida. I know. Ding. The fuck did you just spit into a spittoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robert England's uh, 2001 Maniacs. I have not seen that. Is that good? Yeah. It's got Robert England in it. I know it. it does. It's just one of the... Oh, it's a B-rate fucking awesome movie. So many jokes. Is it? Of course it is. I got his glove. And it's awesome. So there's the, so much like, jokes, so much racism in it. Like there's one Asian character when the, after near the end when uh, they've killed most of the people, main characters. <laughs> They got the people served up on platters. Mm-hmm. One of them's Asian. When he picks up the tray, goes, "How sweet!" I don't know. Look, we got Asian on the menu. Only problem is, hour later, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Robert England and his southern <laughs> accent. There's also a part. <laughs> so there's that. There's also a part earlier in the movie where the bellhop is escorting because the Asian girl's uh, main. Uh, her boyfriend is a black dude. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they're in this town. And the black guy goes to the bell up. So where do y'all black folk hang around here? Using that tree down yonder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the it's fuck? It's a movie, people. Fuck it's off. <laughs> Robert England, 2001 Maniacs. Check it out. Please. You will have a good laugh. 
And <laughs> that's actually... <laughs> so, getting off the fucking heavier shit, jeez. If it makes you feel any better, the first person to die in that movie's a white kid. They had to cover their bases. Like, this movie's <laughs> gonna be fucked. Let's kill off the white guy first. <laughs> so then to- everyone go... Like, he actually mm-hmm. dies in a hot way. Yeah, see. Some big titty chick is bouncing on his lap. Oh, they're tube. gonna bitch about that. With How come tu- he got the fucking... With a tube down his throat as she's pumping chemicals into him that melts his body. Yeah, that's fine. It was funny. She goes, ah, oh, never liked being with a smoker. <laughs> as they saw the guy on the bat, he's like... Sounds like Joker from 89's Batman. It's like, a little got, a little, got a little hot under the collar. It's like, yeah, the Jack fucking, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was good. Oh. Uh, so Elon finalizes the purchase of Twitter. Yep, it's official. Brings Trump back, apparently, but there's nothing that's been set in stone. Trump says he's staying on Truth Social. Yeah. But a lot of people Elon's are saying... Elon's opening the door to say, hey, you can come A back. lot of people are saying he's got to be back on Twitter. Bring back Alex Jones, bring back Trump, and just watch the fucking floodgates open there's been oh, a whole bunch of people that Elon's had their, gonna frick it. he paid what how many billions for that 40 billion what was that like 40 or 42 billion something yeah something he's like that. gonna double that money back he it, could yeah oh what's funny is there was i, I saw this is like a yesterday i think biden got fact checked for putting something out on twitter and which was like oh wow look it's across the board it's not bias anymore he said something like he was going to do his uh, inflation reduction plan or something like that. Had to do was like, oh, the top twelve or fourteen multi or, uh, businesses that made more than what was it like twenty billion or two billion, some billion dollars a year, as um, they're not going to be able to get around some tax bullshit or something like that. And uh, Elon fact checked it and said, well, out of those Pfizer, whatever, what? uh, yeah, right. Well, it was like out of those like 20, it was like only six that actually paid more than that. So everything you're saying, like those 20, it doesn't really fall in line with what you're saying. So he, well, fact, no, he fact-checked him. I was like, all Biden was trying to do was make people go, look, he is going out of big corporate America, going up to big corporate America yeah, to help us. But like um, Russell Brand's covered before. When they do that, like with the Pfizer thing, they say, uh, oh, Pfizer's going to make this. Um, I think it was Pfizer or Moderna. I think it was Pfizer. This is like a couple months ago. Uh, Biden went after Big Pharma and said, oh, we made it so Pfizer had to release some patent or something and make this medicine affordable. But it was some fucking minuscule, like, Tylenol. Oh, yeah. yeah, we covered it. It was like some Tylenol bullshit medicines. Like, I Look what that. we did. Something that's barely fucking used. And then say, we're winning. It's like, okay, you put a scratch on a fucking Titanic of a ship. Big fucking deal. Like, you didn't do shit. What happened the last time a Titanic ship was scratched? <laughs> yeah, and you sunk the whole fucking thing. Glove, glove. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, like, about. that's basically what that they're is. They're not dealing with inflation <laughs> gas prices right now. No. They're you know, sitting down there rent free. The only, <laughs> the only thing that inflated <laughs> was the bow when all the water came in. You think anybody's going after them for taxes? <laughs> I don't hear the IRS knocking on their fucking door. Give them time. With a federally trained agent. Give them time. You mean the frumpy fuckers that come Excuse in? Excuse me. Like, like they're on a fucking field trip. Like, Excuse where's me. you guys' taxes? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you mind not, not knocking on my uncle's coffin? He owes the IRS money. He voted <laughs> last. He voted last year, and he's. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. So Elon uh, finalizes that. And the question is, will Trump come back? And uh, fingers crossed. I hope he does. Tesla Tech is going in now, and they're reviewing the code from Twitter. Yeah. I saw that. For when bots you said, and shit. I looked into that. I yeah. was like, he's hitting Twitter hard. Like, he's got some of his top well, that's minds. That's the thing. He's not fucking hitting them hard. He's just doing what mm, any... should have done. Yeah. Ran a legitimate fucking app. A legitimate platform. Excuse me. But also, I guess, what they did was Twitter was ordered to stop altering codes at midnight of the mm-hmm. of the finalization. And he walked out like a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, oh, what was her name? She was some... I can't remember her actual position. She was on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan had her on and Tim Pool, And they were talking about the terms and conditions for Twitter. This is like in 2019. 
Yeah. She was there and a big advocate and kept fucking like dodging questions and shit like that. And be like, oh, well, if she didn't know something or she didn't want to answer something, she'd go, well, we'll have to look into that. We'll have to look into that. It's like a three and a half hour thing on Rogan. Um, it was good, but every time, you know, Tim Pool in Tim Pool fashion, he doesn't attack, but he's blatant with his questions. Like, well, you say this and you do this, but in your terms, it says this and this is what it actually does. She like would dance around a lot of shit. She got walked out. Mm. <laughs> bitch hire me Elon for what <laughs> hype man yeah. I could be a fucking bitch I don't really think Elon needs us as a hype man how about just hang out with alright that's cool fuck yeah bud yeah, I'll, be, I'll be your buddy give me 120 grand a year that's all I ask <laughs> I don't even like 80 and I'd be fine with that should you be Elon's buddy cause I'm sure he'll pay for everything I wouldn't expect him to. That's why I'm asking for a hundred. I would. He's a fucking billionaire. <laughs> yeah, but as what? It's not as actually. That's how I was like. Listen, I like podcasting. I'll come on my show. <laughs> Maybe I'll clip that. Because yeah, even though I make good money, it's still nice when someone says, "Yeah, I got you a cup of coffee." Oh, fuck it, hey, bro. I well, of course it that. is. And that's what I would do for the guy. Pay it forward. Exactly. Um, that's what I do. I pay it forward. I'm going to clip that segment and put it out there. Maybe it'll go viral or maybe somehow Elon will see it and be like, yeah, I'll come on the show. <laughs> it's like, well, fuck. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I now. swear to God, I, 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 I would probably be awestruck. I'm not going to lie. If he sat beside me over here. It would be something. I I would like to meet the guy in person. Yes, it would be cool shit. Shake his hand. Not even have a conversation with that. The guy doesn't <clears> want to be bothered with more than two seconds of talk with me. That's fine. I want to be able to say I shook Elon Musk's hand. It would be awesome. Yeah, I think it would be. But well, after Elon took took over the company, of course, Twitter employees have demands for Elon Musk. The people left over. Yeah, it's called. You uh, see the one the thing that Elon walked in with a kitchen sink. He's like bringing everything, including the kitchen oh, sink, yeah. or some shit like that. Well, I've seen a lot of memes where yeah. there's people like. There's one where he's bang. Well, uh, he actually shining. brought the kitchen sink into Twitter's like headquarters, like the main lobby. He walked in with a kitchen sink. Well, there was, there was a meme I saw of The Shining where it shows the doors busting open and it shows a Twitter employee <laughs> as the girl. Yeah, and so, then it shows is Elon. he Elon's face? Like, and then yeah. as, it's, as they zoom out, uh, at the next picture, it's the sink coming through the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh, shit. So, the demands... <laughs> yeah, I would love to hear what these fucks are demanding. So here we go. In an open letter, the employees list that they have demand of the current and future leadership. Twitter employees listed the four demands and what the demands mean to them. Respect. We demand leadership to respect the platform and the workers who maintain it by committing to preserve, uh, by what, committing bots? to preserving the current headcount. Please don't fire us. Safety. We demand that leadership does not discriminate against workers on their bias of their race, gender, disability, sexual orientation, or political beliefs. But they can... Wait, wait, wait. We also demand safety for workers on uh, vices who will be forced to leave the country they work in if they are laid off. Continue. <laughs> Please repeat that last one. Okay. Safety. We demand the leadership... No, that leadership does not discriminate against workers on the basis of their race, gender, disability, sexual orientation, or political beliefs. <laughs> Please finish the next part. I just... We also demand safety for workers on visas who will be forced to leave the country they work in if they are laid off. Which, whatever, that's any company but the the one thing that stuck out in that the first sentence was political beliefs so you should not discriminate based on our political beliefs and yet you know, they've the, done fucking yeah. what with their <laughs> fucking platform <laughs> you know what we did for years before <laughs> please don't do that to us oh my god you can't do that to <laughs> us we've been doing it to people we have the right you don't continuing on protection we demand Elon Musk explicitly commit to preserve our benefits, those both listed in the merger agreement and not, uh, e.g., remote work, 
We demand leadership to establish and ensure fair uh, severance policies for all workers before and after they change in ownership. So in other words, if you get rid of us, we want to get paid. And dignity. We demand transparent, prompt, and thoughtful communications around our working conditions. We demand to be treated with dignity and not to be treated as mere pawns in a game played by billionaires. You know what's funny about that statement? The way they treat... Th someone else tweeted this too. Um, they said uh, something about now that Twitter's owned by Elon, it's just owned by... Um, it's just one more... Mm. Social, it's a social network... Uh, controlled by a billionaire that has biases or something. I was like, well, who the fuck do you think owned Twitter before? It wasn't like me or fucking you. Yeah. Like, you know, it was like, um, billionaires owned it before. So, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so that was their list of their four um, fucking Christ. demands. Fuck that shit. <laughs> How about do um, your fucking job, do it fucking right, right, and you won't get fired for being a lazy piece of shit. We got one of the last things we're going to touch on here is uh, New York required to hire back employees. All fired the people terminated due to the being the non-vax clause mm -hmm. and ordered for back pay. That's fucked. I well, I wish I'd been fired now at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so a New York court, this is uh, Forbes, a New York court just reinstated fire on unva fired unvaccinated workers. That could mean, or what could that mean for the rest of the country? Um, New York city has set the tone when it comes to the coronavirus vaccine mandates for workers. For example, it is one of the first major U S cities to impose vaccinated mandates for city and private sector workers. But now it looks like New York city could be setting a different tone for workplace uh, vaccination requirements. A recent case from the New York Supreme court of Richmond County may have laid out a roadmap for unvaccinated employees seeking to challenge vaccination requirements. It may also give clues to employee or employers looking for ways to ensure their employment uh, vaccination mandates survive legal challenges. I think this comes in light of there's a lot of things coming out again with the vaccine where the efficacy now is they're finding drops off significantly sooner than what they at first reported or thought or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Now they're saying weeks after the vaccine you get it like drops significantly off. I think this is with Pfizer, maybe yeah. Moderna, but Pfizer. And also there's uh, I read it. There was an article it's somewhere on here. Um, where they're saying that, uh, where is it? It's right down here. COVID vaccine CDC says heart inflammation cases in 60 oh, 24 yeah. year olds are higher than expected after their second shot, myo and pericarditis. Yep. So in these younger ages, very big spike. They're saying there's a, a sp not a very big, but there is a definite significant enough spike. In, well, um, yeah, because of the mRNA it's from CNBC, but it's on CDC's website. Added on to that, what's fucking? It blew my mind. I was looking for this article specifically, and I came across another article where it says, "Um, oh, that's something else." It says. Exer uh, now exercise can improve vaccine effectiveness where throughout the whole pandemic a lot of people including myself are like if you take care of yourself take supplements take your vitamins like on you'll the daily fine. you'll be fine and what happened like i got that va uh, vaccinated i got covid twice and i was relatively fine yeah but i work out all the time but then all you heard is like no 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 and then people were saying you know vitamin drips and ivermectin and all this other shit it's like well that's fucking horse dewormer everything they could throw at it that's what they threw at it now they're saying well uh if you take care of yourself and take your supplements and take ivermectin and take your fi that was also like being mm -hmm. in clinical trials we covered that before but you know you do all this exercise bullshit and everything it's like well now we're seeing that it, it uh, has positive effects if you're vaccinated they're not going to say anything about people that aren't vaccinated but if you're vaccinated and you exercise looks like it helps you mean so exercising fucking helps with hmm defensive measures against viruses <laughs> well i don't know what i'm doing right then because i don't work out too much and 
The worst I've had to deal with is kidney stones. Yeah. And forest fires. <laughs> Burning down a fucking mountain. <laughs> Come on, Pookie. Let's burn this fucker to the ground. <laughs> hey, all the Kumar go to White Castle. One last thing with the Pfizer yeah, thing. Yeah, sorry. I have on here is uh, the COVID shot is supposed to quadruple in price after the contract with the government ends because of the oh, low my. demand. Because nobody fucking won. Good. No, but well, one is like the stuff we just talked about, like all the shit that's coming out. It's be like, there's so many people that well, then got I, it, and then they, you know, they get the one or two shots, and then they get the booster, and then they get the second booster, and they get the third booster. There's like this fucking series of for Pfizer, I think it's a series of fucking five shots, and they get all this shit, and maybe they went and got all five shots, but they're finding like more and more people like me and you. Or even after that, they got their first shot and didn't get any boosters, or maybe the first booster, and then they're like, what am I fucking doing here? And they're watching everyone else walk around, maybe get it, maybe get a little sick, like most other flus or virus. And then they watch people who've gotten all the series shots still get it. Yeah, still get it. And they're like, this is a fucking waste of time. So less and less people want it, just just for that those reasons right there, which only makes sense. Like, who the fuck wants to just keep going back? I'm keep getting shots and it's not fucking doing anything. The efficacy is dropping off quicker than what they originally reported. So, what the hell's the point? Uh-huh. So, now, they said each shot is going to be up to 110 to $130 a shot, where it was like 35 or something like that before. It, I guess it'll be covered by whatever insurance, insurance. but it's just going to be fucking billed. That will, yeah. Insurance so, your insurance will go up. We're still going to fucking pay for it, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. That's not the only thing that's going to be going up. Yeah. My dick's going to be up their ass. That's weird. Fuck. So is that a booster or is that the first wave shot? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Bye. Halloween, fuckers. Bye. <laughs>